uh, Ashmore Street in we are at the Ashmore Street Intellectual Center. We've come again today to interact with Liberians. We've come to talk about some of the major issues in our country. We started off uh, two days ago and we are here again today at another intellectual center to uh, sample the views of ordinary Liberians. The guys are here at this intellectual center. It's just right on Ashmore Street, just opposite the uh, Liberia Business Registry. And this is one of the leading intellectual centers uh, in Central Town as well. And so we are here to speak with the comrades who are already seated and willing to speak with our Focus on Liberia online television. Once again, my name is Theo Williams and it is a pleasure to have you join us this lovely uh, even in Monrovia. So yes, the comments will come out one at a time and then we'll have the interaction and talk about the issue. Once again, I'm Julito S. Mossi. Once again, I'm Julito S. Mossi. I have concern on two issues. One is about the war crime code. I'm in favor of the war crime code. But my question is that why African leaders or president go through atrocity in or genocide or homicide in a nation? And the Western people do the same, but they work with impunity. Okay, you said you are in favor of the war crime code. Tell us why. First of all, why are you in favor of the war crime code? Why are you in favor of the war crime code? Mm -hmm. If the war crime code comes to Liberia, there will be a law and precedent set against violent and non violent. Okay. Yeah. So now, and those who kill innocent or, or souls mm -hmm. should face their, their, their wrongdoing, should face judgment against the Liberian people. I wanted to know that what the Bible says, whatsoever a man do. So shall we. Okay. So now, whatsoever thing they have done to the Liberian people, let them face in their own atrocity, their own pain, to know that wrongdoing hurt. So let them go to whatsoever they are to go or they were to go and face in their own pain and suffering. You think Mr. Buaka or President Buaka will ensure that the war crimes code is established? He has already started a uh, negotiation with Alan White and others. Do you think he's serious about bringing the court to Liberia? You think that will happen on his administration? If he do, fine. But well, I hope and pray by the grace of God, it comes to Liberia. Let's talk about the rescue government. Uh, the government is uh, a month and some days now. Uh, has the government met any of the expectations? So far, so good? No. Why? What they say, they say in 100 days, and we have like 60 plus days to go. And we have gone 30 days plus. Mm -hmm. And we have seen no sign of anything they say they will do. One, they say the humanization of the civil servant. They will carry back the status quo. We are seeing nothing. The civil servant haven't taken pay yet. Civil servant haven't taken pay yet. And things are getting more tough and difficult in Liberia. The Buaka government promised to fight corruption and order the Wea government. Do you think President Buaka and the Unity Party will deliver on that? No. Why? It started during the inauguration. All right. 600,000 plus were given. They squandered and misused the money in the, in the name of the shape laying on Mary Brown, Lauren Brunel. So, and then the party chairman took three, or oh sorry, some 3,000 plus without an account given to the Liberian people. So if they cannot give on an account of what they did with the inauguration money, then that means they cannot quit the corruption. Finally, do you have any fear about the government? So far, so good. Is there anything that you you are concerned about? My fear is that I'm seeing Liberia okay. into a pit of hardship. 
a danger. All right. Yeah. A it's pit scary. of hardship and danger. danger. Why you say so? Because the first day, the first day, the president was, the president was uh, 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 pronounced mm -hmm. president elect over the nation. Okay. Eh? There is a sign of hardship over the world. It seems like you are speaking prophetically. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Are you a, a prophet or so? I may not tell you, mm -hmm. but you see so. No, you have to tell us. You see so. You see, you see it happen. You see it happen. Okay. What is the name again? I'm Jonathan S. Mosley. Jonathan, it was a pleasure having you on our network. Thank you very kindly. Thank you too. Thank you so much. We're still here at the Intellectual Center on Ashmore Street talking to Liberians. Uh, they will speak on issues of concern. Another gentleman is just right before our camera. Good evening, bro. How are you? And uh, thanks for joining us. What is your name, sir? I'm Eric. Eric, how are you today? What do you make of the Baca administration? They are a month and some days now. What do you think? Are you think? Uh, do you think they are uncles? First, me and Tony from the one of the interviews. But first, I have some clarity to make. All right. Let's just say more clarity to make. Let's deny all of first. We are at the RIA. Okay. But at the RIA, there's a three law they have. One is a regular. Two is a PRP. Three is a presidential law. Oh, Some of us are here. Some of us are here. Some of us are here. We all know that he's a former president. You don't have no way to use the, the presidential law. The way is to use the VIP. And no, they don't have presidential laws. The law is a VIP law. When, when was the last time you visited the RIA? Uh, somebody, uh, yes, I took some any of Because I know about the the recent, uh, the recently Are dedicated uh, Clamari we yeah. VIP lodge, yeah. and the previous VIP lodge. Sure. That's what I know. I don't know anything about presidential lodge. I know it is a VIP lodge that belongs to all VIPs. That's what I know. So go ahead. You are raising concern about the president's former president. We are denial. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh -huh. Go ahead. And the clarity of me, I'm saying the clarity was President Ria was in denial yesterday at the RIA as a bleeding lie. What happened yesterday? Yesterday, I do believe that RIA is a is a almost the institution that gone. I got a record. Maybe even if you found a state or from any kind of the nation of, of the country, uh -huh. I do believe you, you, you address the, the entire pool of the of that institution. I, I surely believe, I surely believe that it was done, but it was done shortly with nothing. What do you think went wrong yesterday? What went wrong? Mm -hmm. At the airport? Yes. What do I person we are? I'm saying that that's a very damn big one. I'm asking you, what do you think went wrong yesterday that led to that situation? There's a rumor I'm hearing saying the denied president for using the PRP law. So that's my question. I want to ask those who making the, 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 the statement that the denied president had a PRP law, when he came here, said, well, we, we want to know what they are saying. They are saying that 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 they that's my question. They you. use the, the, the old VIP lodge. The old VIP lodge, and not the new one. Which is a regular law. Okay, let's get on to other issues. Uh, the Black administration promised to fight corruption and order the WIA government. Yes. Do you think President Bwaka and the Unity Party will deliver on and those I promises? I strongly believe the process is going on. All right. First, they only work on the war economic. I do believe that he had us. No, let's talk about corruption first. We'll come to the war crime court issue. Let's talk about corruption first. I'm asking whether you believe that President Bwaka, I mean, will yeah, live I'm up to his promises. Be, yeah, we'll live up to his promises. I strongly believe the president will, uh, uh, the president will, will live up to his promises. Okay, go ahead. Let's talk about the war crimes court. What do you think? What is the thing? I'm, I'm strongly believe. I strongly believe the president 
the process is going on. You are on the interview on the Mewu Omu Sito Eda. The former president charged the one to the year. He interviewed the president, the excellency Mambuaka, and said that Wokanku is one of the key priorities in, 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 in the government. Let me ask you finally, before I let you go, uh, do you think Representative Yeka Koloba's criticism of President Bwaka is fair? Do you agree with some of the things he has said? Do you disagree as well? Yeka is a human. He has a feeling. All right. I cannot deny why Yeka is it. But Yeka is a human. I feel it. I have a human. I have a feeling. I can say whatever I want to say. So Yeka may say in your own understanding or in your own understanding, but I do believe that. All promises the president made in working towards it. Okay. Your name again? I'm Eric and Dr. Yuta. Thank you, Yuta. It was a pleasure having you on. Well, Thank you so kindly. Let's talk to another comrade uh, who is just in the queue. You're watching Focus on Liberia online television. Today we're live from uh, Ashmash Creek, specifically at the Ashmash Creek Intellectual Center, where the guys will come each and every day to. Uh, debate issues of national concern. Before me, there's a big brother. How are you? Thanks for joining us. What is the name, sir? My name is Stephen Sarah Brown. Stephen Brown, you want to uh, project your voice a little bit to speak out? My name is Stephen Sarah Brown. Stephen Brown, the Brock administration has gone a month and some days now. Uh, what is your own fair assessment of the Brock administration? Do you think the rescue mission is on the course? I'm disappointed. You're disappointed? Yes. Why are you disappointed, Stephen? They use one word in the campaign. All right. So, they begin to rescue us. Mm -hmm. We were drowning. We were drowning in the water. And they bring quality or something to hold it to be rescued. And they took it as a rescue team to rescue all of us. The first thing they did, they formed a transition team. Mm -hmm. They in the form of government. Like in here, in here. They recover for money to have their person break down. It was 600,000. We didn't come up with our outside with our young one really that. 600,000 to 300,000. That's how this will be the money I want to sell. And make our current president to stay in the sun. When he's not conducive, the arm will fare up. We are on the power of government. The second one. Mm -hmm. We are like, when you can't as a president, you can't rescue the people, the first thing you do is you find me to put the people together. Okay. Huh? Reconciliation. Reconciliation. And I'm not seeing the leadership here. I'm not seeing it into work out. You understand me? We saw that in a campaign in Lofa County. Our brother was murdered by their own brother. So if, if you can't as an older minister, I've been working in government for a long time. You can't can reconcile the people. It will be a fun message for you. Okay. But on your watch, we still see things. Your press secretary saying different things, help us saying different things. Mm -hmm. So we have come up with a down here. I want to bring some America to bring one ship and put the common people inside one day. Let go as a refugee in America. We got a minister in here. We got a senator and an embassy. Went to get the work here. What will they come up before the bread come to us? I began writing already. Okay. You understand me? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Soon they don't deal bread. Four o'clock in the morning, people low, and another six o'clock. Exactly. You don't see no difference. Uh huh. I just want to watch the former president. We saw a sport park in town. And when he came, the day he came to power, the family will go around people. When the back of the house, they go and face him. That is reconciliation. All the people, all the people in the office, they don't put money there with the friends. Get us out from the office. Put your chair us up. I don't know what they all want to do. So as I was saying, I will get a voting card. But I don't want to vote anymore. You don't want to vote anymore? Yeah. As a librarian citizen? Yeah. I get a reason. Because you are disappointed. Thank you. And just in your country, one of the only country in Africa. Okay. Current Benin, Guinea, and Hatton State. There is no good electricity, no water. We need to get money to send our children to school. 
I was my killing my profession and I was standing there. All right. So I, I should have filled my palm on it. If you won't go to jail, you won't go where, and that's why I got to go, okay, I'm a contact. I always said to me, the thing you know, I always said to do go and do anything, what you know. But the country, they are going back completely. You understand me? The country are going back completely, we don't know. Okay, it's finally, it's President Bwaka declared his asset uh, after failing to do so before taking his office as president, as required by law. Yeah. Do you think that was also in the interest of transparency? Do you think that was also in line? So I will know that I hear garage. You want any money? That's the purpose. I should. How do you know that? You declare asset. What do you mean? When I say president, you can publish it. I will say. So you want to publish? Yes. It's when you come with clean hair, show everything clean. Okay. Well, clean baby towel. You went to bathroom. What am I be clean? Okay. You understand know me? So we just tell you now, if you can't change your life. That will see for you first. Okay. As a all of men, when children find you can't you make peace. You like can't join one man start flogging the person for no. They were born way in the 17th, the 16th, the 14th. So they know how my brother looking. Okay. So he know he get idea. He been here never before. But the same thing the moon job you have for him power. They say the people are around him. So they put around for a can like Bagasa China Coco now. He will not waste that. Okay. Your name again, sir? I'm your Steven Zebron. Mr. Steven Zebron, thank you so kindly. It was a pleasure having you on our network. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For Gaza Liberia Online Television, we're here again today uh, to uh, sample the views of Liberians. We are at the Ashmore Street Intellectual Center, one of the uh, well-known intellectual centers here in Central Monrovia. Another gentleman is just right before our camera, a very huge. It seems like I have to adjust my chapel. Welcome, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. What is the name, sir? My name is Julius Smith. You want to be a bit audible, Julius? My name is Julius Smith. All right, uh, give us an unfair assessment of the rescue government. The government is uh, a month and some week now, or some days, sorry. What do you think? Uh, do you think the rescue mission is well, uncles? I mean, I don't think so. Why you don't think so? For, for one part, when it comes to the asset degradation, we believe that the rescue team have failed for you. When it comes to asset degradation. But for one part, if you can recall, if Banga Navarros said that there will be no business pollution, and when it comes to the asset degradation, I will not be perceived to, to the very quotation. The other day, I just spoke on, on what they call proud to take it off it to declare your asset. And what I do a campaign, we promise all that before taking office, we will declare your asset. And now we see brother, we took office in the past three weeks before we declare the asset. And there are international media that carry. Interview Boga, even the view in interview Boga Boga said that before taking off in your ticket and asset, mm -hmm. and on that basis, you feel okay. You are not fair to elaborate. Let me also get a take about the situation yesterday with former President Weir. He was denied usage of the Claire Marie Weir VIP launch at the RIA. What do you think? How do you see as well? For me, you know. On the RIA, the Kwaka administration are there very disrespectful to President Weir. For once the president, always the president. Okay. For one part, you should know that George Weir is a fear. And then the area you deny President Weir for, Mr. President Weir, the one that blew that area. Uh -huh. You had a Denver airport, was very far off. But I said that Bar President was 12 years. Now, one day, he will come up with recommendation to renovate that airport. President, we are not president, we talk on it and say, well, we can't be going to all African countries and then, you know, it's very, it's very confusing, and then, when we come to our area, you will see no change. So, I will renovate that area. And then, if you come back saying that the area should be restricted, I believe that we respect. Our past president issued red of communication to the president and say, Oh, boy, red now the era will be in the restricted to walk out alone. God, I want to say, We'll be restricted to walk out alone. But when are you giving it a man 
the communication with all you communicating with the men and then a lot of men to arrive on the airport and therefore go back to the thing was very disrespectful. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, we have to uh, ration the time because the the commerce is a long queue. Uh, let's talk to this other gentleman here. Uh, how are you, sir? What is the name? All right. Welcome to Focus on Liberia. How are you today? Fine. You? Well, I'm good as well. Uh, the Black administration is a month and some days old now. What do you think? Do you think the rescue mission is well, uncles? First of all, the rescue mission is on par. All right. How and why? Why? Mm -hmm. Pardon me? I'm asking, you said the rescue mission is on par. Yes. I'm asking you how and why. Why do you think so? First of all, what was you expect from President Wada is on, on the path to rescue Labrador. Okay. Like you see, the various ministries and agencies, some people work for so many years, they are just in the ministry and agency collecting some money. But now you decided to do some auditing to know who is who, who belongs on the payroll. Okay. So, so far, you can see some changes going around our city. The market tier you know, all around along the street. One of me they want December the big one, one market tier girl just slap on the street, they all hit your market. And while the market is on the street, mm -hmm. so now two drug administration, the city is getting clean. The city is clean. Okay. Well, uh, let's talk about the Baka administration. Let's continue to talk about the Baka administration. The administration promised to fight corruption and order the WIA administration. Do you think President Baka and the Unity Party will deliver on that? Yes. All right. Yes. Why you think so? Why well, think so? Because we have far knowledge on Labura issue. Like in yourself, Labura for law. You know the in and out of Labura. For the past government, our brother and sister, we put the equal power. They don't have a thinking fantasy for Labrador. They say they don't rise Labrador to the peak. But they fear that they are too self into again. So, what the administration will take into the order the, the past administration. Let's talk about some of the appointments and the pace at which the appointments have been made. What is the take as well? Those who are appointed in government. Very good question. So, the appointment is very good. Like you can see, people who specialize in specific areas, they pull you. They can't just take you and oh, go to another ministry, then the past government, because you don't know nothing, you don't know the thing out. Before they employ you, they have to evaluate you. They say, oh, you specialize in order to go there to make changes. They say, for example, to the less uh, uh, ministry, mm -hmm. the man brought, brought a 2002 uh, uh, law for the, for the money company. So, if you put a social thing that we're looking for, we won't look for a social government that will come to be free in the because they say, oh, that's our time to job. No, no, no. You need change. Okay. To rise up. Do you have any fear about the Black administration? If so, what is that fear? Is there anything that concerns you about the administration? Black administration, no fear. No fear about Labron. What Labron has, Labro has to do, they have to come down and look up to drug administration because don't feel that maybe because we let us uh, 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 just a human boy guy say rescue uh -huh. like the team will rise just in two three more no all right we have to take this course and employ more people because all of what i have not employ everybody in, in the ministry and agency uh -huh. and just we still in uh uh uh, uh, uh people listing to employ the new ministry Okay, the name again, sir. Thank you, Mr. Ball. It was a pleasure having you on our network. Thank you very kindly. Yes, exactly. Let's start to rush on the time, talk to more and more people. Today on Focus on Liberia, we're here at the, the Ashmo Street Intellectual Center here on Ashmo Street, just uh, opposite the Liberia Business Registry. My brother, how are you? Thanks for joining us. What is your name, sir? My name is Titius Fodi PC. Come in, we are Fernando Gago. Well, Gago, welcome to Focus on Liberia. Welcome. You sound so energetic. It seems like I'm always okay. Fine. Okay, let me ask you, what do you make of President Buaka's uh, appointments in government and the pace at which the appointments are being made? What do you think as well? Pertaining to the appointments, I think 
company is growing, the process is growing gradually, and we are putting people into the place where they belong. You don't belong there. Trust me. If I got home, nothing they do. They don't call you. Okay. So for the nominees and the employment, we got a stronger person on path. Okay. What is that one thing that you've heard about the Boaka administration that makes you happy? And why are you happy about that thing? One thing. Thank you very much. The first thing is in Boaka's speech. Braga said, we will all let. Now, in with the second day, we add the second day, we stay all in. And in, in two to three weeks, Braga King all the same. In the NSA, I say the project can come anywhere. They get no pool, I get all in there. Braga said, we will all in there. I want to be happy with all, all of them that were buying horses there right here. In six years time. Okay. Where you get where you're not get nothing. In six years time you get paid on that. You tell how you get your pain on that. Yes. What do you make of Representative Deka Koloba's uh, constant criticism of the Boaka administration? Do you agree with him or do you disagree on some of the things he has talked about? As for me, I don't really follow your care because I'm not a fan of your care. I said, I don't follow him. I guess you don't have people who are not people who are abuses president. I don't follow you. Yes. No, but he has outlined some things about the government. Do you agree with those things? I he has outlined. I'm following, so I don't know why all you outlined, right? Okay. Definitely. All right, before I take leave of you, uh, the situation with uh, President Buaka was a serious one during the inauguration. He did not end his speech, and ever since he has been working. Do you have any concern about the president's ability to run the country for the next six years? My thought is, Braga, we all agree as Braga is old and Braga is not well, that we still stood on the line and voted him. Okay. Yeah. So our prayer and our wish that we wish that Boga rescue of all that God Almighty to carry him forward to, to rescue and carry the rescue mission on. Okay. Your name again, sir. It teaches for the pieces. Cargo come on the new. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. It was a pleasure. Let's talk to another gentleman in the queue. Liberians are here today in the numbers to speak out on issues of concern. My dear brother, how are you? Thanks for joining us. What is the name, sir? Yeah, I stand before you, I'm James Mark Shepard. All right. Senator Prince Johnson supported now President Buaka during his election. But now Senator Johnson is not a happy man uh, with Buaka. Keep talking about the war crimes code coming to Liberia. Do you see any possibility of the war crime code in Liberia under the Buaka administration? Yes. All right. Yeah, when it comes do you to think it is even necessary to have the war crimes code? Yes, I agree. It's very necessary to be. Why do you think so? Well, from 2005, I was thinking 11. At the time, the solution they were always discussing the war crimes code. And after the Union Party passed for it, you understand it? Led to 2017, when we are winning, at the end, mm -hmm. the war crimes code kept silent. You understand it? The laboratory request it kept silent. But for certain, what that took over. The same solution that was there at the time, the Akara Gray, the same one put there for work and code. You understand it? <laughs> it was very unnecessary indeed. Those who all carry on a trusted tale for the Indian nation will be put to trust it. Alright. Exactly so. So what we just cry, you ain't crying, you get to live for better Liberia. You understand it? It's not which one, mm -hmm. but the goal because the proper channel of the law. You think the Black administration will ensure that the code is established? Exactly so, yes. That we pray for. Okay, what is that one thing that you are worried about concerning this administration? So and why? Papa, my water is quenched. My heart is quenched. Okay. You understand it? I have no fear, no worry. I know everything is perfect in me. But the only worry is that there are the other radio station there talking a lot of things there on opposition, hassle, and so, so, and so, you know. I'm never trying to remind to the state. You understand it? And my fear, especially freedom. It will always be discussed issues on the net or on social media. You know, they can label it. Those who listen to them feel bad, feel discouraged. So that means you think the rescue mission is oh, well on yes. course? You think it's a good start oh, so far? Yes. The rescue mission, yes. 
Okay. Uh, just a hundred percent. You understand? As a leader, mm? Mm -hmm. when it comes to leadership, all right. Mm? As a wise man, I will be fast in thinking, slow making decision. A lot of people saying, "Oh, brother, just take over, just take it down to a point, take it down to a point." You watching? You may have your vast experience, but you so much yes. You be in power, you know the in and out of government. You understand it? So what are the rush who people feel by or ill? They make their six years to go. If you take you one year to a point, you do it. Okay. Your name again, sir. I'm James Mark Seberry. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you on our network. Thank you so much. We still have more and more comrades here coming out to speak out on the issues of concern. It's a jam-packed forum today. And Focus on Liberia is here to elevate the voices of Liberians who are in the queue to speak to those issues of concern. My brother, how are you? Good evening. What is your name, sir? My name is Samson Can you come closer a little bit? Okay. What is your name, sir? My name is Samson What do you make of the rescue government? Do you think and feel it's a good start for them? Oh, uh, yeah. I think so. Why? Oh, yeah. Because I'm a librarian, I always wish for the best. Okay. So, when a government comes in power, I always sit and look at them and wish for the best for all librarians. Do you trust the president's ability to run the country for the next six years? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I trust it. Do you have any fear as well about the government? Is there any concern? Fear like what? About the unity party led government. Maybe there's something you have some fear about. What is that thing and why are you afraid of that thing? What is the fear? As for me, I don't have any fear. Because I know I still have my registration card with me, my voter card. Okay. If anything goes wrong, Against them. Okay. So I don't, I don't for anything. Let's talk about the situation last evening or yesterday, if you will, with former President Weir at the RIA. He was denied usage of the uh, Clamory Weir VIP lunch. What is your take as a Liberian? How do you see it? Uh, as for me, I would say it was a, was a mistake on the side of the government. Okay. Because former President Weir. He was the president of Liberia. Okay. So I saw him to be treated as a former president. You know what I'm saying? So if we respect the past leader, you that in power today, you will be former tomorrow. If we respect the past leader, people that come in power tomorrow will respect him. Now, Pape Lubunga said, he said, African leader, you will not succeed if your predecessor succeed. So if you can empower today, you start you know stepping on people that were empowered yesterday. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're not staying in power forever. Okay. Tomorrow you leave power, and people that come in power will miss people. You know, they feel the same attitude on you. Okay. So I think what happened yesterday was a mistake on the side of the government. Okay. Number one, because the information that runs the old executive law, executive law, if government decided to do something like that. Mm -hmm. I think the communication out of the government should make it public. Okay. For other people know say, oh, we have two lodges here. Mm -hmm. They should be for the president. Okay. And they should be for other VIP. I think it will be well understood by the public. Okay. But it's just a misfeeding all been done because it will not well communicated to the public. They will have my own problem. Okay. Thank you so much. Your name again. My name is Samson Kokoya. Thank you, Kokoya. It was a pleasure. Having you on our network. Let's talk to another gentleman who is in the queue. We have to rush on the time. Uh, welcome, sir. How are you? What is your name? Thank you very much. My name is Dixon Tamba. Mr. Tamba, you uh, look so optimistic. Are you confident about the rescue government? Do you think uh, it's a cool start for them? They've gone a month and some days now. Oh, no, brother, I don't progress. Oh, no, Mr. Bwaka, we will progress as a country. As a country. Why do you think so? When it comes to our administration, we are working with government, understand how to bring the government. Mm -hmm. you know, yesterday, like, we made a mistake giving people a job that they are not qualified and competent for. Okay. Today, like, we are joining down the sea. So, the honor of Baka, I'm seeing that uh, with the experience Baka has, like, like, we will no longer suffer. What do you make of the appointments and the pace at which the appointments are being made as well? On the appointment, you know, let me honest, Baga doing well with the appointment. Okay. Baga appointed people to the field of study. We will look at your potential, we appoint you to the field of study. But yesterday, yes, the leader appointed people based on a man that went to. 
So you see today, la gloire now struggling to 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 pull la gloire together, la gloire together for one. What is that one thing that you are worried about concerning the Boaca administration and why? You know, because yesterday interview. It make me yesterday. I never go to the sea and pay for the sea water. No, mm. I made my day. How? By trying to arrange for war economic crime to happen. You gotta be honest, mm. Mm -hmm. People who kill innocent people in this country, yeah, they working with impunity. The they live in luxury life. They think life is all, all about it. When you kill, you must be able to account for the people you kill. So I want for Bangladesh to bring the war economic crime to let those that took part in the war go and justify the said there. But when I allow people, me, I get a man to kill someone that came apart. Okay. When you are not doing it, I don't want to lie in my head. I don't want to go back and do the work. I go so I can show you. I already passed in front of me. Yeah. Finally, let's talk about Honorable Colobar's criticism of the Black administration. Do you agree with some of the things? Do you disagree as well? You no, know, I want to use the word Colobar more. Because of the media, I will manage it more. You get Colobar sorry for saying that you call Amicia. <laughs> Let me on this here. You get called by the G, public sentiment, not doing nothing for the for the district. How, how do you call the signals? You saw him for a signal called Amicia. Okay. Go ahead. You get called by love to give public sentiment, not doing nothing for the district. You get called by, you know, have it, every government, credit that government, so the book can say you get called by doing well. But you see, you get called by making what they right? You know, you pull it here. Go, I feel it, I feel it, you get called by us. Some of those people behind the master, go see the mayor. More than 15 cars that cost 10,000 in your company. A man who's speaking for the masses there. He go, he finish talking about good time, what 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 Thank you. Thank you, Tamba. It was a pleasure having you on our network. We focus on Liberia online television. It's an interesting interaction here today with the comrades at the Ashmore Street Intellectual Center. How are you, sir? Today you have the opportunity to be on Focus on Liberia, the US-based platform. How are you, sir? What do you make of the UP-led government? First, my, my name is Morris Gassama. All right, Morris. Yeah, I reside in the United States. Okay. So how is your quality? You are visiting Liberia. Right. How long have you been here? Uh, really close to two months. And how does it feel being back home? As well as always be good. Especially under the current regime. And what is the take about the regime as well? They've gone a month and some days now. Do you think the mission is well on course? Well, things are on course. Like at least as much as things still remain the same, things are tough. You know, times are hard. But I mean, you can see the relief for the people. You see happiness. I mean, you can see hope that people are hoping for good, you know, unlike the past. You know, so, so far, so good. I mean, things are relatively Are you confident about President Boaka's ability to run the country for the next six years? Yes, um, um, I'm overly confident because I know the reason why you asked the question. Mm -hmm. um, you probably asked the question because of Boaka's age. I mean, this is I mean, it's a genuine concern, you know. A lot of people are concerned because Boaka is old. But the thing is that uh, the issue of age, it can only be a value argument, but it's not a sound argument. Okay. Uh, you know, because... When you're talking about age, who determines a young person can be a bad leader and an old person can be a bad leader? So the, I mean, the issue of age cannot be a sound argument. It's, I mean, it's only a concern, you know. So I truly believe that what uh, with his experience, he can be a bad leader, then it will make a difference. Let's talk about the appointments and the pace at which the appointments are being made in government. What is the take as well? Yeah, I think so far. If you look at if you look at the, if you look at the government, if you look at the appointments so far, you can see the, you can see the inclusiveness. You know, more young people, more women. Okay. I can even go further to say, in a short time, worker appointment, worker have appointed a lot of people. Man, I mean, you man are like this. But in a short time, worker have appointed, worker have appointed more Muslims than CDC six years. Mm -hmm. Worker has appointed more young people. Then CDC, more women in the few in the few short, you know, appointments. So 
I mean, the appointment is inclusive, you know, so, so far we hope for the best. Right? Is there one thing that is concerning, or maybe you are worried about, about the administration? If so, why? Everyone must pray. I, I mean, I'm not, that should, that would, that would be my least worry. People protest, demonstrate, talk. People have to talk. Because we know what we went through, right? And I can assure you that this government, there will be no counter protest. Okay. There will be no counter protest. Let people protest. Let people demonstrate. Let people talk. Everybody has to talk. That's the only way we can build a society. You know, so the issue of demonstration and protest, I think that will be the least worry of this government. Okay. Okay, sir. Baka is not threatened by demonstration and protest. Your name again, sir. My name is Maurice Gassaman. Gassaman, uh, thank you so much. Me, uh, Wish yeah, you all the best. Yeah, before, briefly, uh, mm -hmm. I heard a lot of people talking about the incident of the yesterday, right? Oh, yeah. For me, look, the thing is that Mr. Weah is a president. He was a president. Now Mr. Weah is no more. He's no longer a president, mm -hmm. right? Mr. Weah has to understand that, Mr. Weah, the CBC has to understand that government can't, government stay. Mm -hmm. The current government now is the United Party government, head of the Boaka. We understand that, we truly understand that courtesy should be given to former government officials. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, anybody for the matter. So the issue of work because President Weah bear the era, so that means you should have access to it all the time. That's not how it works. Government doesn't run that. But it is a VIP lodge, though, yeah, and former president is a VIP as well. Yeah, yeah, but VIP, VIP. If I can say this, right, VIP is determined. Who determines who is the VIP? Like I told you, right? Policy should be given to former government officials, especially former president. But there's no way you can say because you're a former president, it should be given VIP treatment just like. Current president. It doesn't work anywhere. Okay. It really doesn't work anywhere. They could live with a war crime code. I support a war crime code. As much as uh, uh, I don't like the, the way the way the trend in which the discussion is taking, because by the time you talk about war crime code today, they talk they call Bryn Johnson. It's been politicized. Bryn Johnson should not be the center of the discussion when talking about war crime code. Uh -huh. I'm not a I'm not a fan of Bryn Johnson, but we're talking about war crime code. Prince Johnson should not be the center of the discussion. Okay. You got George Bolin, you got Born Naked, you got Yeke Korban, you got the late allergic Korban, Charles Taylor in jail, Born Naked everywhere, people everywhere. Why only Prince Johnson? So the issue, I think the reason why they, they, they whole war crime court. I mean, he's the one always offender when there are issues I, about the war crime court. So the perhaps. People attacking, I saw, I saw the Democrat newspaper today. You talk about war crime court, then you put Prince Johnson picture there. Why you didn't put all the war leaders in the war? I mean, let's be real. Why do you put all the war lord and feature on the on the newspaper? But instead you only put print and each other. Why? So you see, so the whole thing is being politicized. Why print and see? If you want to quote, you can't you can't have a newspaper and say war crime and put print and see. Where you living job with it? Allergic crew, man. Charles Taylor, you can't call about war naked. You got you can go on and on and on. So you see, it'd be politicized. Okay. So I mean, but I support the war crime code because the, the, the war crime code will stop the, the, the reoccurrence of what we witness. You know? so, okay. I mean, thanks for having me. Thank you I so much. Sort of focus on Africa in the state. Thank focus you. on Liberia. Focus on Liberia. Thank okay. You. Thank you very kindly. Kind of your name again, sir. Maurice Gassaman. Okay, Gassaman, it was a pleasure having you on this network. Well, let's talk to another gentleman. Time is fast spent. And of course, um, we have to rush on the time. How are you, sir? What is the name? You want to speak out a little bit, Kamara? You want to project your voice a little bit? Yeah. What is the name, sir? Lucini Kamara. Lucini Kamara. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of the rescue government? Do you think they are on a good start? Do you think the mission is well on course? More than hundred percent. Hundred percent. Why you say so? Because I have a confidence and trust to do what I want. You think Mr. Baka will fight corruption, as promised? Uh, corruption cannot finish the country, but I believe that it will be more than more than 75%. Okay. Because everywhere, even at home, corruption cannot finish. But if you limit it, you minimize it to 75%, you get it, that means you do things. President Baka is keen about the war crimes code. He had a conversation quite recently with Alan White. Do you do you share that view? Do you want the code to be established? That was our push. All right. It was our campaign message. 
we will have a full campaign message in our goal, our agenda as union party. First, we came to fight against corruption, we came to fight the drugs, and we came to fight for war crime code, mm -hmm. economic crime code, because it's not war crime code, mm -hmm. economic crime code. And the last, we need peace or we call it rescue. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's talk to another comer here. The second to the last. Uh, how are you, sir? What is the name? I'm G. Aaron Colley. I want you to step forward a little bit. Uh, your name again? I'm G. Aaron Colley. Aaron Colley. Yeah. How are you today? I'm doing good. What is the thing about the rescue mission? Mm, they are a month and some uh, days now. It's not necessary for me to talk about. Why? Mm, I see it's not necessary for me to talk about. I'm asking why. The government came to be in the name of rescue mission. Mm -hmm. As I say, it's not too necessary for me to talk about. I can't say that it's not too necessary for me to talk about. Are there some issues with the government? You no, think no, they're not proceeding rightly? No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. What is the take about the government? If the rescue mission came to to fight corruption, mm -hmm. or came to fight and work for the Liberian people, I see it necessary for me to place my support to them to work in exchange, make sure that Liberia become a better place for us to live. Mm -hmm. That's what that's my take. Where are you driving? I, I, I'm not understanding your argument. Where are you driving? All right. First of all, I want to say if the government come with a mindset to work with the Liberian people, we all are willing to work together with them. What kind of mindset do you think this government has? Okay, first of all, when the government comes with peace and stability of this country, our arms is open to work in line with the government. You think they're not all for peace? I see, I see the government to be like, they are not all for peace. That's right. what I see it to be. Why do you think so? First of all, President Waka came to power. President Waka I, want you, I want you to speak out. Mm -hmm. I want President you to. Waka, President Waka came to power mm -hmm. with a notice of rescue mission. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you come to a, a country with different background of different institutions, you are seeing that the country being divided, heavily divided mm -hmm. through the campaign. And you see that. The country where the, he took the country from, and now where the country is going, mm -hmm. I see it necessary for him to reconcile our country. All right. But I see our country not reconcile. Okay. Do you think he has the will to fight corruption? Hmm. I would say it's a way or a pleasure to to work on that. I can speak to to that. Do you trust this administration? Yeah, I trust the administration 100%. I do believe that they will do better. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to welcome court to be, to be established as well? When you ask me that, I will President say... President Baka is keen about that. I will say, if you ask me that question, I will say 100 times 100 yes. Okay. What, what I will say yes, what the reason I will say yes, because it's the first thing that Liberian that people been yearning for. All right. We yearn for eight for eight for the past twelve years. We are going eighteen years in yearning for the war crime and economic crime code okay. to be established in our country. All right. So is it is it time now for Liberians yourself to to go to the capital to the land of the capital to to plead for this war crime code and the economic crime code to come in this country for our government official senior government official. To not be coming in government with a mindset of stealing. To not be coming in government with a mindset of embezzling our country resources. But we coming in our country to serve government with a good mindset to make sure our education, our education get a better place that we will go to school and learn the required things we need to learn. Okay. Your name again, sir. I'm Abraham Aaron Cody. Thank you, Mr. Cody, as well. Thank you so much. Let's take the final gentleman who has been patiently waiting. Uh, the last but not the least. Welcome. How are you, my brother? Good to see you. Thank you. Yes, sir. What is the name, sir? I'm actually Joseph Akonwe. All right. I live in district number seven. 
Okay. Let me say thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on national issue. Great. What's the take about the Waka administration? They are in and days now. For me, I believe unknown the Waka leadership, Liberia will go back to the old days. Why you say so? Because when the United Party were in opposition, mm -hmm. we saw the head, which was Waka, the standard bearer. So many things happened within the United Party, within the opposition, that one day he as a head had never put things in place. Everything that went wrong, he defended it. He said when the president will be good, you will know from the east. Uh -huh. There's no decision Waka has taken on his own that we can be here today to say under Waka leadership as a president of the Republic of Liberia. Like you will go far from the, for me, I, I say no. From the way you sound, it seems like you have some fear about the government. Are you worried about something? Yes! What is it? Thank you. And why are you worried as well? Look here at the start of the leadership. Look here at the start of the government. To me, <coughs> the United Party government came to pay back. They don't came to govern. All right. Because every government that will come to govern from the start, you will see the booty. The witch hunt is too much All right. in the United Party government. That's it for consideration where the business are due. I'm a young boy. Mm -hmm. I see her on the street. It doesn't mean I do not have the ability to work. But because the opportunity has not been given to us, no job has been provided for us. Okay. Every battle will not work in government. We say under the leadership, under the past leadership, it doesn't mean that they do not have intent to move off on the street. They have that intent. But because looking at the circumstances, that if we take the people from the street, where would they go? We do not have means to carry them now. So we will leave them until we can put things in place. Then we can be able to take them from the street. Uh -huh. When Parker came, in the, Parker said, he got 100 days people. The first 100 days, we will go one month. We were the first people that were attacking the street venom. Mm -hmm. But moving up, right after the harder day, which was Tuesday, mm -hmm. police came, clear everybody from the street. Those people that sell on the street, they are family here. But do you think you should be selling the main streets? No, 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 no. All right. Everyone who sell on the street. Some people that sell on the street are to up. Some people are university graduate. Some people are high school graduate. Some people no trade. But the opportunity has not been given to them. Okay. Everybody will not work in government. Now, let's look at the government structure. People who are in position, that chimney position, who's supposed to serve for so many, some years, mm -hmm. you come into government knowing that you sell on to this thing and you start targeting people. Why show? Every one guy is ready want to fight for what you Let's look at the money that he gave to a party chairman. You see that's a violation? That's a violation! Violate the constitution. Baka swear to protect them all. So help me God. And today Baka is violating the constitution. Okay. That he is self swear on. Look at all these things that are happening. I can tell anybody. Mm. The United Party government came to pay them. All right. They not came to unify this country. That look at the incident that happened when the former president came in. They are seeing people trying to defend. What are you defending? That place was used, was built for people to use there, to, for people to go there. The old place, but now that the old place is supposed to be destroyed and it was used for office space. Okay. Then people coming out, they say, oh, they play it for special people. Former president get their own play, president get their own play. Why in the world are kind of happening? All the kind of thing bring division. Liberia is highly divided. Just the election show it to you. If you come to govern the country, the country govern it well. You think that is not in line with reconciliation? No. That be you only want one turn. Maybe you come to pay debt. And after your one turn, you will leave. 
what will become those that are coming behind you? Okay. What will what, what you turn away with people with children to say yes? So for me, in terms of the war crime court, oh, that one I support Waka 100%. Okay. <laughs> but for me, if I tell you, say, Waka is sincere, he's saying that, I will say, that nah, nah. You think it's not going to happen? It can be possible. Why do you think so? Because during the inauguration, Waka said it. Hmm. When, after the inauguration, Prince Johnson went to the church. And he said something. And during the state of address, the whole page of reference or, or rock and code. You can see it again. Alright. It's because of that tip was leaked. That's the reason we are here for it. Okay. You understand? So for me, I voted because I know for me, my expectation. <laughs> I don't expect what I will do anything. Oh. So I don't have that expectation. If you do it, then well, it's okay for Labrio. Okay. We all want the best of Labrio. Okay. We all want the right thing to be done. We all want to go to good hospital. We all want to go to good schools. We all want to plow off good road, safe drinking water. Everybody want one good thing. But from your start, this government is not heading the right way. Okay, my brother. What's the name again, sir? I'm Achi Juse Fanokon Wei. From talking to you from this train myself. Thank you, Wei. It was a pleasure. Thank you, too. Thank you very kindly. Well, we want to leave here at that. It's been a wonderful time here interacting with the comrades at the Ashmore Street Intellectual Center. Thanks to all of the guys who uh, spoke with us. Thanks to the uh, leadership here for granting Focus on Liberia the opportunity to solicit the views of uh, the comrades who are here on a daily basis. Well, we'll continue this uh, perhaps at another location. We're going to be at another center in the coming days and weeks. But until then, thanks to Anthony C.A., thanks to uh, Mr. Dennis Jha, who is our Chief Executive Officer, thanks to C as well, the Head of Operations, and thanks to all members of the Focus on Liberia crew on behalf of the team. My name is Theo Williams, thanking you ever so much. We want to leave you at this point is goodbye from the Ashmore Street Intellectual Center in Central Monrovia. Have a great day.